Hello students. In this session, I will share with you one of the methods of qualitative data collection. There are various types of qualitative data collection. These include in-depth interviews, focus group, participant observation, analyzing text, biographical methods, and anography. In this session, I will share with you in-depth interviews. So what is in-depth interviews? In-depth interviews is a useful approach where qualitative data are required and more in-depth exploration is necessary. Data are collected via a dialogue between the interviewer and interviewee on a face-to-face -face basis with a non-structure or structure interview questions. So why we conduct in-depth interviews? In-depth interviews seeks to describe the meanings of central themes shared and experienced by the subjects. The main task in interviewing is to understand the meaning of what the interviewees say. Interviews are particularly useful for getting the story behind a participant's experiences. Furthermore, the interviewer can pursue a in-depth information around the research topic. Moreover, interviews may be useful as follow-up to certain respondents with questionnaires, which is quantitative method, for example, to further investigate their responses. There are two common types of in-depth interviews. The first type is informal, conversational interview. No predetermined questions are developed. The purpose is to remain as open and adaptable as possible to the interviewee's nature and preferences. During the interview, the interviewer just goes with the flow. The second type is standardized, open-ended and structured interview. The same open-ended questions are used to all interviewees. This approach facilitates interviews in a structured manner for analysis and comparison. So how to conduct in-depth interviews? First, you need to choose a setting with the least distraction. And you need to explain the purpose of the interview. You also need to address terms of confidentiality and explain the formats of the interview. You also need to indicate how long the interview usually takes. You also need to provide contact information of the interviewer to the interviewee. Please allow interviewee to clarify any doubts about the interview. Most importantly, you need to prepare a method for recording data such as take notes or tape recording. In-depth interviews do have limitation. Limitation include time-consuming, costly, response bias associated with interviewer perspective. For example, interviewer may be subjective, like using certain questions that may influence the interviewees to provide answers that miss represent their true experiences on an issue. Bias can, be for, can arise from interviewee perspective. For example, interviewee may falsify their true feelings on an issue. As a result, the validity of the data becomes questionable. There are seven stages to conduct in-depth interviews. Stage one, thematizing. Identify the why and what is the purpose of the research or investigation. Stage two, design. Plan the design of the research study. Stage three, interviewing. Conduct the interview based on an action plan. What is the purpose of the research? Who are your interviewees? When are you going to conduct the interview? Where should you conduct the interview? How should you conduct the interview? Stage four, transcribing. Prepare the interview materials for analysis. 
Stage 5, analyze, an, analyzing. Select the appropriate method for data analysis. Stage 6, verifying. Ascertain the validity of the interview findings. Stage 7, reporting. Communicate findings of the study based on scientific criteria. Right, that's the end of this session. These are the references in which that you can use to deepen your understanding of in-depth interviews. Thank you.